Hello and welcome. My name is Pimelo Mudine. At 702 and Lead SA, we decided to celebrate heritage in a unique way this year. So this is obviously Heritage Month and uh, we've been given permission to enter into a really special vault. Now in this particular vault, I'm told, we are going to be meeting a really special fossil. Uh, I think it's a Daung child fossil, I'm not sure, they'll let us know. But not everybody gets a chance to come in here. Scientists from around the world come in here to just explore and do their studies. But we were privileged enough to get permission to come for this Heritage Month and I'm hoping will op also open up your minds and your eyes to what the world has to offer. 400 million years in this space, it is incredible. Let's start at the very beginning. What is past? So past, the name really says it all. We look at the past, but the deep past, mm. not the recent past. So we go back millions and millions of years. And this is incredibly important because we look at the origins and development of life, of humankind. Mm. A lot of it which happened on this continent in Africa. So PAST is a very unique organization. We're a public benefit organization that preserves, protects and promotes the studies of our ancient past. And this is important because of course the past is really our only guide to the present and to the future. So tell me the significance of this particular vault. Yes, so this is one of a few such vaults on the continent. And the significance is that these vaults contain very, very rare objects that are rare, rarer than gold or diamonds or the Mona Lisa or the pyramids or any of these wonderful things that we see in other parts of the world. Why do I say that? Right here in this building, we go back 400 million years. So we have some of the rarest objects on earth, which is the fossils of our ancestors, but also of other plants and animals stretching right back to 400 million years. Now it's unique because the only other building that I know of in the world that has this kind of record is the Institute of Earth vertebrate paleontology in Beijing. This is the first building on the African continent that brings together 400 million years worth of fossils. So you have fossils of mammal-like reptiles, of early dinosaurs, but also of our human relatives going back three million years. Mm. So of course this is a building that secures these fossils, makes sure they're properly protected, but also allows access to the public and to other scientists from across the world. So then the question is, why is the science so important? This is such a critical question and one that PAST hopes to answer in part. It's important because a lot of people will ask us, why are old bones important? It is very important because the world currently are facing two enormous challenges. Discrimination and conservation. And we feel that at a very fundamental level, this science of our shared origins, these fossils that tell us that we come from the same source, an African source, goes a long way towards a very, very bright future for humankind, which may not so be so bright if we don't look at our shared origins. And this is not only about the shared origins of humankind, the fact that every single human, no matter what they look like, share an origins that goes millions of years back, but it's also about the shared origins of all living things every single living thing on this planet, which tells us, and more importantly our children, that we need to preserve, we need to be kind, we need to look at equal rights and a common humanity. And these fossils in this building provides the scientific basis for this. So we're still in the vault and uh, in front of us is the town child skull. I mean this is absolutely incredible. Rob, just give me a little bit of history, factual history about, mm. about this baby, this child. Well, this, this child, uh, it was perhaps three and a half years old when it died over two million years ago. It was discovered in 1924 by lime miners at the site of Taung uh, when they were blasting out the lime. The, well, the foreman of the site recognized uh, that this might be an important fossil. Only, only the back part of the skull really was showing in the bottom of the mandible. And, but he knew enough to uh, show it to Raymond Dart at Witts University, uh, who was a professor of anatomy there. And Dart 
um, recognized it immediately as, as something very um, important. And he took several months to clean the fossil, remove the, the rock that was um, a, attached to it, and proclaim this fossil to be uh, a very ancient human ancestor, older than anything uh, and more primitive than anything that had been known previously. His claim was roundly rejected by scientists for what he was really saying was that humankind originated in Africa. Now at the time, in 1924, Africa was considered to be a backwater where nothing of importance in our evolutionary history happened and that human origins must lie in Europe or perhaps in Asia. So Dart was really going out on a limb he recognized, for instance, that the child had a brain that was really quite small, ape-sized, uh, what you would expect from an ape of this age. But the teeth were very human-like. Mm. And importantly, the base of the skull showed indications that this little child walked upright on two legs, which is, of course, a distinguishing human characteristic. Now, it took a good 30 years for Dart's claim to be vindicated, and a lot of that vindication came in the form of subsequent fossil discoveries of uh, early hominids like Taung from the site of Sturkfontein here in the uh, cradle of, human, uh, of humankind. And subsequently, there have been hundreds and upon hundreds of fossils of our early ancestors discovered both in East Africa and South Africa that extend our lineage back to at least six or seven million years. And what these fossils show, all starting with Taung, is that not only did our most primitive characteristics arise here in Africa, walking upright on two legs, but everything that's defining of humanity, from our dependence on technology to our very um, incredible cognitive capabilities, our intelligence, our ability to symbolize, to speak language, all of those things originated here in Africa. So far from being a backwater, mm -hmm. Africa, in fact, is the wellspring of humanity. What PAST was founded to do, and our core mission is still, to fund research in paleontology, broadly speaking, origins of humankind, origins of, of life in general. And we do this not only uh, in South Africa, but increasingly across the continent. And we are the largest uh, independent African-based uh, supporter of this uh, science. Um, what PAST also does, though, is we have a very good educational program, mm -hmm. which has now been running for about 15 years, called Walking Tall, where we use physical theater to explain to uh, learners and also community members the value of a basic understanding of the science of our shared origins. And this theater project has now seen over 1.2 million uh, kids and adults, uh, mainly on the African continent. More recently, we uh, started a campaign called All From One, which is a nice way of expressing this idea of the shared origins of humankind and the shared origins of all living things, where we are, we are trying to educate the public in South Africa and now going global about the relevance of understanding uh, shared origins to current issues uh, that many societies around the world are dealing with today those being with how we deal with human diversity um, and those dealing with how we go about protecting against the loss of our natural environments and biodiversity. Shared origins, we think, is a, adds a very powerful scientific perspective to these very complex uh, challenges that we face.
occasionally in order to uh, spur public interest in the field, we, we do like to do this, this, this sort of thing to sort of show off the wonderful work that's being done here at FITS and in Africa in general. Well, we are privileged. I mean, being a Heritage Month, we really, really are grateful for taking us back because I think for us, this really indicates the fact that we all originate from one source. I mean, Absolutely. So, yes, in Heritage Month, it's important for us to celebrate our diversity and for all of us to celebrate our um, cultural backgrounds. But let us not forget when we do that, that ultimately this diversity all comes down to uh, a single source. So let us not think of um, diversity and difference as a division, but rather let us remember it as just an expression of the underlying unity of humankind.